Hello and welcome everyone to Kenny Bear's Arms. I'm Kenny. Today we're taking a little look at my Fight Light SCR. I am still getting comments about what the hell is that rifle? How the hell does that rifle work? That rifle ain't right. <laughs> yeah, well, it may, it may or may not be right to you guys, but to me, it's. I think this is a sweet platform. If you're in a band state, this might be a sweet platform to look into investing in if you don't want to have a stupid looking AR-15 with the stupid shark fin pistol grip and all that crap and just, or the, ah, bleh, that looks awful. If you want a traditional, like, looking, or functioning AR in a traditional looking hunting rifle platform, check out Fight Light Industries. I absolutely love this rifle. I love this platform. It's dope as hell. Um, but I keep getting questions and, like, from people in comments like, how does that work? Where does the bolt go? Arr! Where's buffer tube and all that crap? They don't understand because it is compatible with pretty much any standard mil spec AR-15 upper. Um, this is a Gibbs arm upper I have on here. This is a Bear Creek Arsenal 7.62-39 barrel. And believe it or not, this barrel is thick as hell. Um, it's weirdly wildly accurate too. But let's get into the this how this thing functions and stuff. I think I have to undo the front too. Hold on. All right. So the lower, nothing crazy, nothing special. You probably all want are curious and want to know what's going on in here. So here's the bolt carrier and the the tail assembly. Again, I always forget the damn name of the shotgun that this thing takes after, but um, the design from, and I think the, doesn't the FAL and like several like other German style, there's other several German style rifles that also have like buffer tubes in the stock and stuff like that. But here you go. Standard AR-15 bolt carrier, Fight Light Industries bolt carrier. As you can see, it's basically just got the big massive hunk of it missing in the rear um and where the hammer would normally fly through here and strike the firing pin is now replaced with this much narrower uh cut out here and this tail that's all it is that's all it is like i can literally take out the bolt and stuff like that out of here you just got to attach this the tail and stuff like that the firing pin like all that stuff's compatible it's basically just like it's basically you just took this bolt carrier, cut it in half right here, and just you wedge on this tail here so that the tail the tail can push down into the stock. The buffer tube, the buffer, buffer tube, whatever, is it just goes down into the stock down here. So it's pretty simple stuff, like, but it, it's it obviously has some of its drawbacks that it's not compatible with um the, the trigger group and stuff is definitely not standard AR trigger group. It's definitely different. It's got a weird cross bolt safety down here, which I guess is it has its pros and cons too. Um, but at the end of the day, like it's still, I think a beautiful design. Like this is actually really lightweight. Um, you obviously lose quite a bit of weight here in this bolt carrier compared to this carrier. Like this tail is obviously a lot less material than all of this mass chunk right here so you do lose a lot of weight there is weight savings in this platform um obviously the receiver is a lot smaller too uh but yeah that's that's all it is it's literally just i could if i wanted to like this is actually a 762 39 bolt here this is a 762 39 bolt here like i could just literally just take either of these pieces out swap them together swap them out with each other no big deal it doesn't matter it's they're completely compatible the only thing that's different like i said is basically the trigger group um and that's really about it i think honestly in the buffer tube and stuff but other than that like it's pretty much compatible with everything else that i've thrown at it as far, with as far as ar parts and stuff goes <sighs> hopefully that answers some of your questions regarding this platform if you still have more questions i'd love to answer them because i am still in love with this platform even especially after a local firearm uh, builder seller whatever locally said you can't you'll melt you'll never make that work that's stupid you'll never be able to make 
a 762.39, blah, blah, blah. It'll never run reliably, blah, blah, blah. You'll never be able to get that to work. Well, I'm sorry, brother. This works just fine. <laughs> I made it work just fine. I wanted it to work. I, mm. Anyway, I'm ranting. I'm getting off topic. That's how this thing works. That's a separate story. If you want to hear that story, too, that's it's a pretty good story. A local gun shop I went to go buy an upper from upper receiver in 76239 and I I showed him my lower and what I was working with and he said that that won't work that's not possible blah 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 well needless to say it works it's possible you didn't take my money you guys like comment consider subscribing if you have any more questions about the fight light platform let me know uh, take it easy be well and I'll see you around